Hello, my dear viewers. Welcome to this reading. This reading is for all Gemini and it's for the month of August onwards, 2024. My dear Gemini, this is all about you, your life, what you need to know, important factors, messages from the heavens for you to know, things that are hidden from you, perhaps, or advice or even answers to some of your questions. And talking about answers to your questions, my dear Gemini, you see these seven messages here. They are for every Gemini, but you can, however, make them personal, make them your own um, and nominate a question, nominate um, an answer for it. You can choose two to three answers for one question. It's up to you how you use them. They're there for you to utilize the way you want to. So question and answer. Two answers from here, from here. It's up to you how you choose it. Timing, um, details about what's going on, something you're really pondering about. Put your intention there and you should get the truth. That's the intention I've put in it, to get the truth for every question that every Gemini wants to know. That's what the messages are. So let us begin. First, I'd like to welcome each and every one of you. And um, I'll start by reading, first and foremost, what these two messages are for all Gemini. Starting with the first one, and it's got the masquerade. The masquerade is all about hiding your true self and not maybe putting on a facade and not being yourself maybe afraid to be who you are maybe you have fear that you won't be accepted or maybe your ideals or convictions or thoughts might not be accepted so therefore you try to hide your true self and you put put on a projection of what you think that others will um want to listen to so that that is brilliant that is absolutely brilliant to do that but that means maybe with some people close ones at the heart you need to be yourself so that you can you know have some release and not always be putting on a facade maybe there are people out there that you don't trust or you know that they won't accept you so fair enough you have to put on a show or some sort of a facade or some you know hiding your true reality but thank god you still have those like family members that you can be yourself with so they're saying that it is um, it is what you're doing and what you're projecting isn't your true self but that's okay if it's needed you know you're pretty brilliant you know um who can handle your true self and who can't handle so you're doing that and you're doing well okay let's have a look at this one the assassin interesting ruthlessness and convictions okay so you've got to be careful it's either you could be becoming ruthless with someone or even um ru somebody's being ruthless with you you could be being ruthless with yourself so very important and the assassin also is about convictions what you believe in your ideals Maybe there are things you believe in that they could be quite ruthless and you might be handling your life in a ruthless way and not being gentle and caring with yourself. Very important. Um, you could be uh, the assassin and ruthless, uh, ruthlessness both can show that there might be something inside of you that you are um, not happy about and you're angry or you might be bitter about something and some injustice and it's making you become sometimes ruthless so you know maybe something you're feeling your high self is feeling on a high level and then you or you could be dealing with someone that is quite ruthless and they don't have regard for your feelings so once the tarot come out uh, everything will be clarified and we'll understand situations better now let's take two important messages for all gemini august onwards I'll cut once only, two messages. And we have, wow, the Page of Wands. Someone new coming into your life, someone of fire energy. My dear Gemini, fire being Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Uh, starting a new project. We'll find out exactly how this uh, works for you. This could be a new project that's doing spectacular. When I clarify, you'll understand what that is all about. It shows that you do have options and emotional options. And in the midst of everything, there is one great opportunity that will come out. Even though there may be a lot of mistruths, other people being misleading you from the truth, and you're not quite sure what the truth is in regard to your emotions with someone, I feel like there is someone new with a great opportunity um, that is going to be really wonderful for you. So that's very good to know. Um, don't forget, my dear Gemini, at the end of this reading, I'm going to go through all the star signs. Well, I'm going to get five cards from all the signs. And then uh, with their, with their um, 
you know, uh, ruling planet. So I'll be getting a five to see what are the star sign combination of the person that you are going to be consumed with, overwhelmed with, dealing with at a very high level in August and a little bit over. So I see that you're resting from something like a battle. There is rest coming, which is really great news. That's what's coming. Now I'm going to take another deck and see what else you need to know. Oh, actually, before I do that, I just realized that there's something I didn't do. Mm, the Sacred Forest. Two messages, two major messages for all Gemini August onwards. So we've got the first one. It says stillness. Time for you to reflect. And we had reflection over here too. Was it here? Yes, reflection. Uh, when you are thinking about, you know, wanting to be honest about yourself, your true self with someone, to be should I or shouldn't I? What should I project? So um, taking a lot of time out and thinking in silence, contemplating, thinking of why certain things are happening, trying to heal from a lot of things that have taken place. You are in the process of healing. It's as though something has happened, and, and this is connected to um, people who are who have got Chinese ear of the tiger or the snake here, very strong, a lot of healing and a lot of understanding and a lot of reflecting about what happened and uh, why did that happen and questioning situations one more message for every gemini and you are going to be empowered this year of the dragon the dragon is going to give you power this is 2024 the year of the dragon it will empower you big time without even you knowing that you are going to be empowered there is going to be some incredible power being given to you as a gift from the heavens and you'll start realizing this within 11 days or weeks from now november should impact a great uh a great uh, surprise for you. There will be something really incredible taking place in your life. You are going to feel so powerful. You will be amazed. Uh, like, like magic, like uh, the universe giving you everything you want. Empowerment to the highest level. This could be connected to the Chinese year of the dog. And November, people that have Scorpio or Sagittarius in them. Now, with this reflection, you might be dealing with someone that is very strong Pisces. We've got double three here. Or double strong Aries. It also can be to do with you, my dear Gemini, and, and a Gemini that has cancer in them. Or if you're dealing with a cancer also. So very strong star signs there. Let's have a look at... I'll take three important messages from this deck. For all Gemini, for August onwards. I'll just remove these like that. Here we go. Right. So we have the King of Pentacles. Someone of Earth energy entering your life. Earth energy is Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. We'll find out. So we had fire energy here. And now we've got Earth energy. That could be uh, fire and Earth. And fire and Earth would be absolutely magnificent for you. Um, a beautiful combination that gives you someone truly understanding. Someone very real down to Earth. But at the same time, someone that you can expand um, with someone that can understand you someone that will give you a foundation from which you can build and thrive so that's incredible king of pentacles earth energy wow we've got the four of pentacles and this shows unexpected large amounts of money a sum of money it is destined for you and it's coming you are going to be the authority of this money. This money is going to be ground changing. You could change your residence. You could change your um, work, perhaps by your own business. It's that kind of money. It's big amount of money and it's coming, coming very quickly. I'd say four weeks to four months from now. It's a big amount, unexpected. It could be an inheritance or it could be a windfall. Wow, I started with the tarot without doing this. I have to open this soon. Okay, I'll take two more. We have the Ace of Cups, the greatest gift from the heavens. This could be a windfall, could be a gift of money, it could be the gift of true love, everlasting love. So a new beginning that brings you that, that beautiful um, happiness. And there it is, the Ten of Pentacles, the card of wealth and abundance. The Ten of Pentacles is about abundance, it's about wealth, generation of wealth, money that is so big that goes a lifetime after lifetime. Amazing money coming your way. And look at that, both of these cards are to do with exceptional money. And so is the King of Pentacles, actually, because the King of Pentacles shows um, security and long-term financial freedom, long-term abundance. So, or, or someone very wealthy, that could be that too. So we've got two cards that show exceptional wealth. So maybe um, this year there is something major happening with money coming to you as gift, as inheritance, that is all possible now. Okay, so how many did I take? Four, that's it. What you don't see coming and happening 
is the sun is going to be shining in your path and giving you a lot of radiance, a lot of healing, a lot of abundance, and a lot of happiness. So I'm going to put this, what you don't see, right here. And then we've got the Three of Cups, which is celebrations, major celebrations. Wow, that is beautiful. That's what's hidden from you, and that's what's coming. Now what I'm going to do is go through the messages, and I'm going to get more tarot. Let's go through these together. This is the time where... You want to ask something, make it personal, make it your own, specifically for you. You can ask it now, put it on pause, the video, ask your question, nominate an answer, and then unpause it to see the answers, because I'm going through them now. So you can put it on pause if you're not ready. So the first one says, teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So that's that one. Now let's go to the second one. It says cobweb. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. So you are protected from negative forces beyond your control. That is great to know. Now, it says here, don't listen to other people. Trust yourself to know the truth. Trust yourself to know the truth. Um, this is connected to people that have Virgo in them or Libra. Uh, people that uh, have got Chinese here or the monkey dealing with Chinese year of the monkey. Nine days from now could be something about September. People born in September are Virgo and Libra. Nine days to nine weeks to September, as for timing with this one. The next one, we've got the raven or the crow. Um, this is about memories, remembering. This is about caution at the same time. This is about mystery, magical powers. And we've got the dragon with magical powers also, which is really incredible. You've got powers being given to you. Um, incredibly, you are going to be amazed and in awe at the power that you're receiving. And I feel like some of this power could be uh, this wealth, this abundance that's coming. This Ten of Pentacles, which is money, uh, a lot of a lot of money, extraordinary money coming your way. This could be empowering or giving you the power in the Year of the Dragon. That is uh, very strongly possible because... Um, um, I, I just feel like there is something really big with all this money and power. Because uh, in this world, in our world, there is no magic. The only magic is power of money because the money and the power of money can make things happen. So uh, when I'm seeing power, you can't have magical powers, but you could have power as though luck coming your way. You'll be able to move things. You'll be able to have promotions, raises, being recognized for your hard work. But on top of that, because there is a lot of money here, this isn't promotion. This is big inheritance, large amounts of money that are life-changing are to do with either a windfall or a gift of money inheritance. It says a new event or, or happening, um, clever problem will be solved. So the crow and the raven is always known for problem solvers. They're very good and problem. They're very clever. And um, this is also being observant, observing around you. This is also an omen about caution. So caution is needed in how you tread. And then we've got a lot of success. You might be dealing with uh, people that are born the Chinese year of the cat rabbit, uh, twice Chinese year of the ox or buffalo, and um, letter A connect to people that are uh, either Ant Antarctica, Alaska. Uh, dealing with people that have A for initials, to pay attention to this. Um, and this is about going through remembering and mem memories, but it is about magical power at the same time. A new event is going to be taking place, and you have people that have Aquarius in them, people that have Aries in them, people that have uh, Taurus in them, and uh, Capricorn also. So Earth Energy, we've got Capricorn. 22 days from now, up to 22 days, from now to 22 days, and could be 22 weeks for some things. But I feel like 22 days uh, is more, sounds more realistic now, because this is about what you need to know in August. Okay, the arrow. It says you are on the right path. You're on target, and you are directed. You're guide, guided and directed. Regarding some aspect of your life, you will be guided how to proceed and what the best course of action is. The arrow is about that direction. Let's have a look at this one. It says loons. The loons are all about deeply committed. You are very deeply committed with someone. And I feel like um, there are uncommon bonds. There may be situations of family. There may be um, a baby, a child supposed to be born because in the midst of these two Lose. There is that little baby, so family, uh, manifesting deepest desires, all in for what you love 
and reawakening lost hopes so lost hopes might be reawakened again i feel like there is a chapter ending and a new one starting connected to the letter a someone that has got chinese ear of the rooster somebody that's got um, liberal scorpio within them and i feel like uh, this is about a deep commitment 10 days from now and something big in october something major in regard to commitment in october now we have i've never felt love like this before the depth of it can inspire can be inspiring but also overwhelming this is about something that you will realize or go through in august august big time chinese year of the goat people that have virgo or leo in them i feel like this is about realization of how deep you are profoundly falling in love. I feel both of these cards are so connected to higher levels. So August, eight days from now, and Chinese Year of the Goat. Wow. Okay, that's that. Now let's go to the next level, and we're going to take, I think, two more cards, two more messages from this deck. Two, maybe three. Possibly three. Let's have a look if I can just bring this one over here and move them a little bit. Maybe I could put one or two for all Gemini. Is there anything else that we need to know? So we've got the truth that's going to give you a lot of clarity. A lot of truth is coming out. This truth is going to help you have the power to move forward with, in, with good intention and with clarity, knowing exactly where you're heading and how you're going. The next one is some of you are thinking of relocating for business, maybe for work, for a new house, a new way of life. There are decisions about relocations, and that's that one. Okay, let's put this um, aside now and start looking at what else you need to know. There are two um, portal messages here for all. And there they are, they're out. For all Gemini, for August onwards. That's what I was trying to say. Now, we'll go first with the candle, and the candle is all about seeing your path, exactly like the King of Swords, seeing clearly, seeing illuminated your path. You know where you're heading, what's been mis hidden comes out. It's all exposed, and you're ready to go. It is also about ambition, taking action about your ambition. If some of you could be doing a side hustle, uh, manifesting money is another one, but it's also about management. This is about careers and management, high ranking, Leveling up to high levels, visibility, finally being seen, um, being applauded for a job well done. Uh, things are becoming more visible, more more transparency. And uh, some of you could be thinking of doing athletic work or dealing with athlete, athletes, working with athletes. Now, the skull is all about rough patches, borrowing money and being low on cash. Maybe overspending, careers in, in uh, hospice and healing. Healing. Some of you might be finding it hard to find work, but this is all about reinvention and reinventing yourself, your career, knowing what to do ne next. And with all the clarity um, of the King of Swords, not to mention uh, the the candle, you will be able to know exactly what the best co course of action is. I feel like you'll do very well in healing and supporting others. Let's take two more messages from this deck. One and two. Nice. Okay. So we have... Far away places, get ready for a new horizons. A lot of changes. That's connected to the two of ones because you could be uh, moving further away from where you are, traveling, something wonderful is happening that you're thinking of relocating to a better place. And then we've got narrow pathway. Tread thoughtfully. Whatever you're doing, because don't forget we have got the assassin and the assassin is about ruthlessness um, and, and sticking to your convictions to the point of ruthlessness. You've got to be very careful. And now we've got another card saying, tread thoughtfully. So be very thoughtful, even if you're angry, even if you're fighting for your ideals and your principles and your convictions, but try to uh, bring a gentle touch and a gentle way, express what you feel and what you think is right. So it's okay to do so, but as long as you use gentility. Let's see what else you need to know. We're going to take two more cards. Oh, they gave us three. Okay. Let's see. First, it says very soon, clearly decide what you want because it's going to come to you very soon. Something wonderful or someone wonderful is coming. So that's great. It says, you know what? Calling your soulmate. It's your soulmate that's coming. It says your, your prayers, affirmations and visualizations will help bring you together with your soulmate. That's beautiful. And then we've got express your love. 
go ahead and make the romantic gesture and it's all going to be great so it's all fantastic that's great news let's see the message for today and i'll start clarifying the card for all gemini august onwards okay let's do it again just one message for all gemini and there it is okay let's see what it says right it says if you could do anything what would it be ask yourself the answer is within your heart not in your mind this isn't about using your logic this is about the heart you'll know deep inside what you what needs to be done, what needs to be done because the heart is the gateway to the soul so ask yourself what what would you what could you want what could you do and if you could do anything what would it be that's a very important question. That might give you a lot of insight as to help you understand uh, when you are in reflection and contemplating what happens next. Now let's clarify some of the most important factors. Starting with, um, I'll start with the King of Souls. Let's see what clarity will the King of Souls bring. Okay, it's going to bring you clarity to the point where you will take action. This is about taking action just like... Uh, the candle you're taking action overcoming a challenge and moving forward i feel like the chariot is going to be a great victory and you are taking action moving some of you are in the midst of traveling this is also traveling preparing to for travel and overcoming any challenge with this travel so there will be transparency there'll be visibility and manifesting money and manifesting also a great victory so that's really wonderful and direct to the point right what you don't see happening and coming, there is an ending of something. Something's coming to an end. Now, let's see the two of wands. Could that be connected to this ending? Where is it that you're thinking of relocating? Right, this is connected to fire energies. Those of you that have Aries in you or dealing with someone that has Aries. Could be Aries, could be Sagittarius or Leo. Fire energy, very strong here. This is Aries card. It shows that you are relentless to reach a level of a goal or something you've set in your mind. There's only two, three four i'd say maximum four weeks to get there there is going to be power and control in your hands as you want as you've always wanted to have the control of your life in your hand without somebody controlling you i also see here that um there could be an offer one that you can't refuse and that offer could be the reason where you may be thinking of relocating to a better position because it could be an offer of um, management or something really wonderful that you can't say no to so there is a possibility of movement due to that again there is an ending to something let's see ending to what wow a strong clarity brings you an ending and that's all to do with your destiny because the destiny is coming in so that's great and a lot of money shows a lot of money the nine of pentacles was there now let's have a look at the king of pentacles and see who the king of pentacles is and a card has just fallen upside down wow <laughs> the king of cups just fell in reverse showing that this might this this person this earth energy right the king of pentacles is an earth energy might be the reason that you might leave someone behind and start a new life with someone a new beginning with someone that is uh, much better this person is a water energy scorpio cancer pisces but they're in the reverse that means they're not maybe they're not doing the right thing by you where the earth energy will be and you're moving towards someone much better that's very intriguing because we're going to see who the water energy is uh, let's have a look at um the new beginning with the page of wands because i'm seeing earth and fire very strong there it is it's true yes see this is the earth fire i was talking about the earth right the king of pentacles and the king of pentacles came we were asking about what this new beginning is who this person is it says that the earth of earth energy this earth energy this person is going to grant you your wish your wish is going to be granted and this new beginning is going to bring you abundance and a lot of arms um, uh what's the word a lot of expansion coming your way wish granted expansion um, financial freedom with the king of pentacles and someone of earth energy very powerful and who's going to be uplifting you and uh, giving you the justice that this water energy didn't so water energy usually are very nice emotional people but when it's in reverse that means they were not being themselves they were not doing or maybe they were being themselves but they weren't uh, for your highest good so who comes along the earth energy very interesting can't wait to see your comments about all this now this is going to be the clarity that's going to help you move. This is going to seeing the truth so much because you got the king of swords twice. Being so powerful and 
and finally knowing where to go and what to do. And everything that was hidden is going to be revealed. Let's have a look at this money. The Four of Pentacles. We'll start with the Four of Pentacles because the Four of Pentacles could be inheritance. The other one could be a windfall. Let's see where the Four of Pentacles is coming from. Wow. Okay, so it shows that they fell. It shows that there is a new beginning. And that new beginning, just like the Page of Wands, we've got the Ace of Wands. A new beginning that's going to bring you a lot of prosperity and a lot of rise and expansion in your life. The Moon shows that there is so much truth, so many secrets that are going to be revealed that is going to help you see your path very clearly. You'll know where you're heading. Now you might be in limbo, not sure where you're at. That's why you're in stillness and thinking and reflecting. What will happen next? Where will I go from here? It shows there it is again, the Seven of Cups. Now, the Seven of Cups is quite interesting because it is all about being misled, um, dealing with someone that's not truthful maybe or wasn't truthful enough or you might have misunderstood uh, what their intention was. But you know what? The truth of the matter is in the midst of all this, you could say mistruths or deception, different people saying different um matters different things but the reality of, of all this the seven of cups is that there is one great opportunity that is going to be emotionally fulfilling and i feel like it's to do with the earth energy but we will see right so this um fell out of nowhere no actually they fell when i was talking about this money uh, the inheritance so it shows that big money comes at a time where in the midst of getting a lot of truth uh starting a new beginning that's giving you a lot to think about and a, a great new perhaps a new person in your life and moving towards the truth and seeing where your path is at that time this money comes let's have a look at the ten of pentacles for all gemini where is this money coming from it comes it shows it's coming at a time where you are feeling guilty and unhappy, having sleepless nights, distress because of an end of a relationship or a situation that has reached to an end and there's nothing more you can do. So you are feeling uh, really sad. And it's at that time the 10 of wealth is coming, at a time where you are feeling really low and this is this uh, money is going to uplift you. So that's what's happening. At the same time, after the money comes a great soul connection with someone and you're finally resting with a great battle finding the soulmate that you are going to spend the rest of your life with whether it's going to be a business or partnership it's going to be spectacular long term because it is your soulmate remember about the soulmate so the two of cups was the soulmate let's have a look at um so that was the ten of pentacles i'll just have a look at the seven of cups what opportunity is coming for you my dear gemini it says one more challenge and you are going to take advantage of a great opportunity that will come but you need to act very quickly at the same time it's going to resolve a problem and it could be this this one more challenge and then it's over you reach to a level of an end of a chapter and the beginning of a new one where it's going to give you a lot of happiness um, a lot of resolution a lot of money and also a great proposal is coming after you defending what you believe in so that's really wonderful um so that that explains the money that's great um was there anything we missed okay i wanted to ha have an idea about the ace of cups what kind of gift is this for all gemini the ace of cups the new beginning that gives you the greatest gift from the heaven rewards major rewards are coming your way recognition fame for a job well done rewards from all over the place from the heavens from people around you from communities so much luck so much power and a great victory someone of air energy like yourself will be advising you what the true best course of action is someone who might be aquarius gemini libra maybe they are supporting you in this situation or you might be falling in love with someone that has got air energy in them so Let's have a look at five. We're going to take five star signs that you, my dear Gemini, are consumed with this person. Uh, the star signs uh, combination of a person that you are going to be overwhelmed with or dealing with on high levels in August. And if there are two, um, we'll find out about them too. Let's see. So we have already a few cards left. Okay, so we've got Aries. We've got Saturn and Jupiter. Aries is a fire energy. I'll put that one here. That's the fire that we keep seeing over and over. Uh, remember i said aries here i said this could be aries leo Je all of these are fire energy the, the wands and then you've got aries the actual emperor is the aries so we've got aries first then we've got capricorn another 
or it's an earth energy capricorn saturn is the rule of capricorn which is the earth energy that i was talking about this one here do you remember i said the king of king of pentacles that's that could be capricorn earth energy coming and changing your life and uplifting you now they might have fire energy in them sagittarius we've got sagittarius here don't forget aries and sagittarius both are here now i'm going to take two more for all gemini star sign combination of uh, yeah let me just okay if i get more that means more than two that means there's two people we'll be dealing with here right we've got leo another fire energy so we've got aries Ju uh, sagittarius and leo fire energy to the highest level right fire energy to the highest level and this is aries right and don't forget we've got the page of just to show you how much fire energy there is have a look at that sorry no this is two of no, this is it the king and the page of wands fire energy and aries so fire energy was very strong in your reading and we've got aries number one the emperor and then we've got jupiter the ruler of sagittarius and the sun ruler of leo sagittarius leo fire energy number one right and then we have saturn the ruler of uh, capricorn earth energy we've got mars so what who doubled up aries aries doubled up so you are going to be dealing with someone that has strong aries in them a lot of fire energy this is someone that's very um aggressive in wanting to get to a certain level they're hard workers they're real they're honest they're loyal and they are impulsive sometimes so they're driven very powerful so i feel like you know and com you know com competitive like they're very competitive they're they're in a combat they're in a battle so this is someone that you might enjoy because fire goes okay with air especially if there's earth unless earth energy comes now if this fire energy wasn't a water energy say you were with a pisces scorpio cancer and have got aries in them then no this could be falling apart you could be leaving this person behind or disagreeing not agreeing um or even there could be another person coming in your life and that person might have a uh, capricorn because we've got double earth energy here you see double earth energy right uh, and that could be the capricorn and it's got they might have sagittarius or leo in them fire energy we've also got uranus now uranus is the air energy here the rule of aquarius there could be someone that might have aquarius this could be someone advising you this could be uh, the person that you are meeting for the uh, next time in your life i'll just uh, the next in your life might have air energy i'll just take one more there's another one yes i had a feeling there's a little bit more but um, i just wanted one but i was giving okay so it's it's continuing on this is sagittarius so sagittarius has doubled up jupiter the ruler of sagittarius sag twice so that's very strong sagittarius now let's see what else now there's neptune now this is the pisces the water energy that came upside down and then saturn twice capricorn um okay capricorn twice this is very important so um the king of cups could be someone that you were having a relationship with that could be coming to an end uh, that something might happen a truth comes out and you get very upset and you finally realize this has nowhere to go this relationship it's a dead end there's no future there's nothing and and feeling unhappy sleepless nights all that comes to an end this could be very strong because neptune is a ruler of pisces and we got the king of cups which is the water energy one of the water energies and it's in reverse so that shows to me that there could be an ending of someone water energy but you're moving in with uh, earth very strong earth energy and guess what we've got saturn twice the rule of capricorn this person has a lot of capricorn in them which makes them very real down to earth and quite comfortable financially fire energy could be in them very strong aries possibly sagittarius twice and a little bit of leo but the majority whatever doubles up that is the intensity and the magnitude the amount of people uh, that will be dealing more with sagittarius than leo so a lot of sagittarius a lot of capricorn and a lot of aries uh, and that shows to me and there is air energy also so that shows to me that you could be dealing with someone uh, meeting someone that is going to be someone very very down to earth that you will really um, feel comfortable with this person could be your soulmate this you know this could be the actual one the one now this soulmate could be also cuspy because we've got aquarius they could be cuspy aquarius capricorn that could be a possibility they're very honest and real and down to earth 
uh, quite comfortable. You are celebrating a new life. There are opportunities of love with the Seven of Cups. So I feel like you could be um, calling your soulmate here. But I do feel a very strong, powerful uh, energy with this um, King of uh, Pentacles. I feel like this person could be changing your life. This person could be giving you the power you need. This person could be also taking you to high levels. They might offer you something where you might be relocating. I really feel like there is some earth energy that is going to make an impact on your life. And I feel like this earth energy could be a Capricorn because we've got Capricorn, Saturn, which is the ruler of Capricorn, twice. So this could be explaining um, who this person is. A lot of Capricorn coming in your life. And you know what, my dear Gemini, when you have earth energy, there's a big difference between earth energy and water energy. Um, that's why the King of Cups can't compete with earth energy the water energy, um, even though Pisces are beautiful, romantics and honest and, and, and very, very nice people, uh, exceptionally romantic and sensual, but they can't compete with Earth when it comes to you, my dear Gemini, not to anybody else, because your air energy and what you require is Earth. Just like um, electricity with the AC and DC, you've got to have your Earth, and that's how it is with air energies, Gemini. You have to have earth to have foundations and growth with water um there is always a problem with a lot of sensuality is beautiful but what's the problem is communications and being on two different levels so the earth energy i feel like this earth energy is going to take you to the next level and you will find a lot of yourself in this person and finding um, foundation with this person and you're growing together i feel very strong this person is making an impact in your life and i also feel like this could be either a reward or um, one of your wishes coming true one of your great wishes something you wanted the longest time could be coming true and um, bringing you this uh, this person this earth energy very strong earth energy and i i have i can say very easily capricorn Capricorn is the strongest in this person. Now, don't forget, we have got Sagittarius twice too. So we can't deny the fact that Sagittarius is their fire energy very strong. Twice, somewhere here, not Neptune. Mm, where did it go? So Sagittarius, that was twice. You can trust me, Jupiter. There it is. So Sag, which is the rule of Jupiter. Sagittarius is very strong. And this Sagittarius also, you will find that they're very loving, very nurturing. So when they sit together with Capricorn, you know, it could be someone cuspy that's in between November, and December. They they have got Sagittarius in them and they're Capricorn. This is someone magnificent for you. You will feel so much security, love, security if it's a job, if you're working with someone, love, um, soulmate, someone that you can be empowered with, someone that you can be yourself with and accept it for who you are and what you want and on the same level you're both on the same level wanting the same thing and you will grow together can't wait to hear your comments about all this i wish you abundance of um blessings do give me a thumbs up if it resonates with you um do watch the video all the way to the end and support of me and if you um would i would really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel it doesn't cost anything it's just a click away and that would mean the world to me also i wish you a lot of love and light and a lot of abundance of joy and happiness namaste